Hey guys, it's Bone here, and I'm going to start this video out with a brief opening on how the channel is going to go for the near future. I'm probably going to be uploading like Tuesday, Thursday, Tuesday, Friday, something like that, but I'm going to be uploading in just two days a week, maybe more if I get time. That's just so I have more time for schoolwork, because I am in college and we do have finals coming up, and so shit's going down. But the main point of this video today is to talk about how to do CSGO better. Counter-Strike Global Offensive is a fairly complex game where each gun has an individual recoil pattern and a variety of other aspects. I'm going to be talking about Counter-Strike Global Offensive and how to do better in it. I am Gold Nova Master right now, so I thought I'd just give my input on this one and we'll see how this goes because I have done some research, watched some other YouTubers videos on it and I thought that I would just throw my input and a few other things in there. I'm going to start this out by saying I am not a pro player. I don't profit off of winning in Counter-Strike. I just like Counter-Strike. It's a good game. But this is my list of things that I do good at in Counter-Strike and a lot of other people do too. One of the biggest things for Counter-Strike is mouse sensitivity. Learn your mouse sensitivity because that can win you or lose you a firefight. A lot of people have played at the same sensitivity for a long time and... Counter-Strike is not like Battlefield where you switch sensitivities very often. You generally, you stay on the same sensitivity the entire time. Because when I was in Battlefield, when I was sniping, I'd lower my sensitivity a little bit, just so I was a little more accurate. But when I was like using an assault rifle, I would oftenly have a slightly higher 1800 or 3300 DPI because that was just a bit more accurate for flicking around a corner and getting locked onto someone. Now tip number two is know your guns. Find the guns that you like, you work well with, and use those a lot. Because not like Battlefield and Call of Duty, Counter-Strike has very different recoil models for every single gun. And sometimes moving while shooting with a gun makes it horribly inaccurate, making you miss all of your shots sometimes. Another thing is learn the maps. Because giving callouts can save your team the round if it's the last guy standing, it's 1v3 clutch. And also try to be educated on the health situation of the enemies. Because if your teammate's full health and he runs in thinking the last guy is lit pretty bad and the other the last guy ends up being full health, he might lose that battle. But if you or your teammates know how much health roughly he has left, it can really drastically change the tide and who has the advantage in the firefight. Because if the guy's low in health, but your teammate's full, he can play a lot more aggressively. Now another major thing for Counter-Strike is get a good headset. It's not required necessarily, but it really gives you an upper hand in the battle because you can hear footsteps very accurately with a good headset. I personally use, right now, I'm using a Razer Kraken 7.1 Surround. Um, it is the Chroma version, it doesn't really make a difference to the sound quality, but it is USB, and I also would recommend getting a USB headset over a 3.5mm analog pin, because I find that USB, at least, is a little better sound quality-wise. So, I personally recommend that you use a USB headset over analog 3.5mm pin, but that's honestly your choice, and also for your budget. Now to wrap up this video, my final and most useful tip probably is don't watch Casey Tron's how to do CSGO video because apparently knifing the air or the smoke in that case helps you win a battle because you know they're there and they don't know you're there and you'll just get that knife hit on them or whatever. I don't know. Casey Tron's a dumbass basically so don't watch that video unless you want to learn how to suck at Counter-Strike. So that's pretty much all for this video. Put some tips and tricks that you have in the comments, and I want to see what you guys think on this. Um, I know that I'm not a pro player, a lot of people aren't, but a lot of people have great tips and tricks for the field. So, if you like the video, smack that like button. It really does help the channel a lot. And if you want to see more content from me, hit that subscribe button. It also really does help the channel out, too. Happy gaming, and take it easy.